Hey everyone, Ashley Daniels here with Lauren LaGrasso. We're so excited today because we have celebrity psychic healer Justine Kenzer with us and we have lots to talk about. Plus, she's going to do a reading on both of us, so stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. I'm in the corner, <laughs> We love this song, and we thought it was appropriate because it's a very happy feeling to it. Um, I don't know. I feel like every time this song comes on, I, I just smile. Yeah. And I think we smiled um, very much when we met you, Justine. So thank you so much for being here today. You are um, a, a bright light, and you brought a lot of happiness to us. And we haven't even spoken to you yet for more than five minutes. So I'm excited to get to know you more. Thank you for as having Lauren me. Is too. So guys, I'm mm -hmm. Ashley Daniels, and you can tweet me at Ashley Daniels. I am with Lauren Lagrasso. You can tweet her at Lauren Lagrasso. Wow. Wow. We are very, very unique. unique. <laughs> very. Very cool. <laughs> and Justine, where can we find? you on social media the best place is just to go to my website psychicgirl.com cool okay I'm surprised that's like a really good website by the way good good props to you for getting that site psychicgirl.com that's a great name I've had it for a very long time <laughs> oh okay you snatched that early yeah like very it very early yeah. yeah so you know I feel like a lot of people don't understand the difference between psychics and mediums so before we get into getting to know more about you and everything sure. um, would you quickly explain what you do and um, what you don't do sure. <laughs> well I um, I'm a clairvoyant um, and a psychic and um, I think most people get confused because they hear medium and they just think that everyone does the same thing a medium specializes strictly in um, bringing through messages of your loved ones that have crossed over and um, it's not that I don't don't do that. If someone gets a reading with me, they can ask about that. But my specialty really is um, being able to answer very specific questions that you have about anything going on in your life from relationships, projects. It's really, you can ask anything in the world that you want to ask about, um, but it's more focused on um, answering your questions rather than bringing through the messages of um, your loved ones that have passed over. But also on that note, <laughs> um, all psychic ability is communicating with spirit, <clears throat> excuse okay. me, and spirits are those that have passed over to the other side. But um, people, what they don't understand is just because someone passes over doesn't mean you can see everything and know everything. What I've seen in the years of doing this is our life on the other side is a lot like the life we're living now. So if someone say was emotionally ill or mentally ill, it's just like you wouldn't run up to someone in the street and just take their advice, right? So if someone just says they're a psychic, you want to really do your homework and research to know who they are and where the information that they're giving you is coming from so that it's all about tapping into the highest and the best. And how do you go about finding a good psychic besides referral? What's the best way? That's a great question. Um, you know, it's just like finding a good doctor. You right. do not only want to um, get a recommendation from someone you know and trust, but also do your research. Yeah. Yeah. I, which so which anything. we did. Obviously, that's how we found you. <laughs> uh -huh. um, and you've, you know, we don't need to get into specifics, but you've worked with a lot of very big names. Um, and interesting, you were telling me you have been doing this for 28 years. Is that correct? I have been. Wow. So <laughs> that's okay. That's, that's very interesting because you are yeah. 20. So how oh. did this happen? <laughs> uh -huh. but, but so you started when you were very young. Could you tell us a little bit about how that began for you? Like when sure. was the first time you realized that you had something different about you? Well, it's interesting because I grew up, my dad was very much into this stuff. Oh. So it was kind of like a party trick to him where uh, hmm. my parents had clothing and shoe stores and he would fit people for shoes and love to kind of drop something on them like, oh, I see you play the piano. So I was around it all the time, but it was never, you know, he never said you're going to grow up and be psychic. And in fact, that's like the last thing he wanted for me. It really came from um, just trying to find myself spiritually. And that's really where it came about. And I, I resisted it for many, many years. Um, but it is kind of like the universe had a had something else in mind. This is where I've ended up. So wow, yeah. So do you feel like if you didn't do that soul searching that you were that you were doing that you wouldn't have discovered this ability that you innately had in you? Um, well, I think, um, gosh, I mean, I think it just was, um, I mean, that's a really great question, but I, I think there was no way I wasn't going to find it, right? That's right. why it unfolded the way that it did. And, you know, very glad that I did find it and, and very glad that um, 
throughout this whole path has helped me discover, you know, why I'm here and what I'm doing. So many people go through their life, not only like clueless of why they're here and what they're doing, Mm -hmm. but, um, you know, just to have, be able to find the answers to why are we here, right? Which is what most people are walking around asking themselves. Mm -hmm. Every day, all day. Yeah. (laughs) Well, and when you were resisting it, what kind of things were happening to you? What made you say, I've got to listen to this? Um, Well, I very young started in clothing and and that's what my life was. And You were working as um, retail or something? Well, I started very young in retail. Really by 16, I had my own clothing company where I was making and selling jewelry. And then I went to design school and then I even dropped out of design school and and started a clothing company that got got a lot of attention very quickly. But it just it wasn't fulfilling and just kind of realized I was um it's kind of where I was where all of us go searching for what's going to make us happy in the physical world right um so it it just was to me everything I was studying kind of spiritually was just about healing myself and trying to have that help me get to where I was going so you know and at just some point I realized that um you know and and I, and I had all these clients you know I never set out to be psychic or be a professional psychic but it it really is just what ended up happening. Do you think that <laughs> any of it comes from the fact that your father was psychic uh, or that he had some intuitive um, knowledge that maybe other people didn't have? No, I think that I, that, um, I think that had me, I was open to it because of that, right? But I think either way, you know, I kind of think we pick our parents or it's not an accident right. who we get as I've our parents, that. right? Yeah. So um, so I think that that just was a natural part of it. But no, because when it came down to it, it, it wasn't ever... Um, I guess I've heard stories that he would kind of psychically test me about my day versus, you know, where kids get nighttime stories when they're tucked <laughs> into bed. I was getting like tested about my day psychically and taught all these things like programming your subconscious mind. But oh my um, gosh. so, yeah. So again, I mean, I think it had me just, I, I do think I came in just super sensitive and, mm. and that it, I wasn't like hearing voices or anything like that, but, um, you know, I didn't know, like most people, you don't know you're different from everyone else. So, yeah, yeah, it's interesting. I, I mean, I, I'm kind of going through the similar process. Not, not that I think I'm psychic, but that I do have a lot of intuitions, and I have been kind of on a similar path that you're just saying right now. And yeah. I look for like podcasts or things to kind of help me develop these intuitions that I have and kind of see where they go. Um, and there's there's really not a lot out there. So right. I, I would love to see if there's anything you could share right now for anybody right. who's looking to develop their intuitions. Well, I I will tell you, it's not a game. A lot of people think that, you know, opening up your psychic ability is just so fun and such a game. And Mm. um, really what happens is you want to be grounded and rooted in spiritual teachings and a truth. You know, you want to search for the highest truth so that um, you're in a safe space when you do this, right? Because dark and light is very real on this planet. Look what we're going through right now. So um, so you're right. There's so much out there, just like as many people say that they're psychic. There's as many people out there trying to teach how to connect with your intuition. I mean, it really has... Um, not only everything to do with your relationship with yourself, it is something that can be, um, it, it's like exercising a muscle, right? Like people go to the gym and they work their muscles out and um, hopefully become better and better um, in shape. And the same thing happens with being able to develop your um, own psychic and intuitive abilities. But it really comes from as you study spiritually. But that's that's really like the safe grounded way to do it and not get diluted or not go into fantasy land and also for you to stay as safe as you can when you're doing this kind of thing um but you know as again there's lots of people out there that um say they're psychic or they're practicing their psychic abilities but it has nothing to do with the bigger picture which is your spiritual path right because i don't know most people don't know is we're trying to break the cycle of coming back over and over again right that if you believe in past lives there's only so many hundreds and hundreds of past lives we can have before we want to move on to what's next from here right, right we want right. to go from human into master and so uh, most people get just caught up in the phenomena side of it you know or wow. they um just want someone to tell them what to do or want to have these future predictions that's where most people get caught up in it absolutely yeah that's kind of what differentiates me and the work that I do from other people that are out there you're making so much sense to me right now so I know it's amazing uh 
I, it's fascinating because you, you, I do believe in, in past lives. And Lauren, do you, are you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love them. I actually have had a past life regression and it oh, was cool. phenomenal. And I had a really, really amazing experience afterward wow. with uh, clearing a relationship that had been very destructive. And I never gotten an, an apology for this person. And the very next day, they wrote me this letter just wow. saying, I'm sorry for everything I did and I love you and sorry if anything was misconstrued. And it, I found that I had done to them what they were doing to me in a past life. Wow. And that. so it was really powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Those kind of things happen. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's wild. But yeah. a lot of times, too, I think it gets confusing. I wanted to ask you, sure. with soul connections, mm -hmm. Sometimes we're with people because we're supposed to be learning from them. And, and sometimes it seems like the people are there like, and they're supposed to be long-term connections in our life. How can we tell if someone's a learning relationship and that relationship's come to its end or if it's like supposed to be the relationship? Well, this is a great question. Yeah, and one that question. is um, going to have a couple parts to the answer, yeah, which I'm that sure. always happens with me <laughs> where there's like, here's the three. So um, what I've learned is there really isn't a supposed to, number one, mm. that everything is really um, choices that people make, like relationships that work are really two people choosing to make that relationship work more than anything else. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of your karmic connections or your past life connections that bring you together with people. You're just, you know, it's like we love each other so much or we have stuff to work out with them that we just naturally find each other. And then it's really, um, like I said, a choice of, you know, because a relationship can come together and kind of run its course. You can love someone more than anything. The both of you can love each other more than anything, and it doesn't mean happily ever after. So there isn't the supposed to, or, and there's really not a one. When people talk about the one, um, what people don't realize, they've just read everything online about soulmates and think that they're going to meet their soulmate and it's happily ever after. When if you think about it, if we've had these hundreds and hundreds of past lives and we have had hundreds of different relationships with different people, and if our goal is to master life and death, our soulmate is really about who we're going to pick on the other side that we can mm -hmm. end up forever with that person. You can walk down the street right by your soulmate and not even recognize that person. No. So, well, no, the beautiful part is it just means you have many choices. Right. Like you can have a better relationship with someone where it won't be so difficult. Um, that's why it's just about free will choice that people make so there's no rules and there's it, it really comes down to two people who do whatever they can to make a relationship work more than anything else wow that's, that's deep do yeah. you do so you, you can let go of that oh my god i haven't met my soulmate or what if i don't meet my soulmate you can relax and knowing that it, it's not about that it's just about finding a relationship that's going to work and in all relationships even friendships or just like a, people in your life that come into your life and you're not sure why they're there or or you feel like you've well, there isn't always a why. You know, people okay, get very okay. caught up in trying to figure stuff out with their mental mind of what did that mean. And a lot of times people want me to explain exactly what something means psychically when a lot of times it's just an energetic pattern. There's no, there's nothing I can tell you that's going to be like eat apples on Tuesday and, this right, whole, yeah, yeah. you know, it's energetic patterns. And that's a lot of what I do in healing sessions with people is helping have relationships or patterns of attraction, which is why people usually attract the same person over and over again, wrapped up in a different package, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So we can actually change that. We can actually heal that. And, um, you know, and not here's the shameless plug. I mean, for people that can't even have a session with me, um, there is a healing that I offer as a download on my site called Heal Your Relationship Space. It, it it's kind of like the super no effort way. You put this on. It's 15 minutes. You close your eyes and follow it, and it helps to clean out all that stuff, all the old patterning, all the energy you've been holding on from the beginning of time, as far as relationships, and it really helps you to change up that space. So. Um, so anyone having any kind of issue with wow. a heart or with your heart being in pain or broken <laughs> or a relationship, that's um, really the number one thing that I suggest that people do to help to instantly get them out of um, pain. Even so many... friendships that they have? A... Absolutely. So they go... And now if someone wanted to work with you on that, like, I, how would they be able to be with you in person and bring their partner or their friend with you in person and do this well, healing I, as well? I or? tend to do, I enjoy doing sessions or here, let's take it even farther. So yes. I think when someone's witnessing your reading, it changes your ability to be able to be honest with yourself, honest, you know, with um, being able to really get the most out of a session. So I don't really do couples readings. I do one-on-one -on -one readings Got because it. you get the most out of doing, mm -hmm. and, and you don't need your partner there. You don't need to still be talking to someone to have 
you know, relationships don't get wrapped up in these happy packages most people have unfinished right. business, right? So, um, so you don't have to be talking to that person. You don't need to have them there. Um, and it benefits you really, you know, whether they know that you're doing it or not. It, it's really just your own personal healing with yourself and then that affects the relationships that you're in but um, not to not answer your question what we were saying about friendships it's that same thing because we've had past lives where we say have played different roles you know you can have a friend in your life now that you love more than anything and that person was a parent in a past life or was your lover in a past life or was your child in a past life so we're just it's kind of like we love each other so much we want to find a way to come in each other's lives to get an opportunity to work out our stuff with them can you be reincarnated as somebody that was already in your family? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of times that's just what's happening over and over again. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's but there's deep. no rules. It's different for everyone, you know, but, wow. but absolutely. I mean, that's how you have those connections. Absolutely. You've known people before and you're working out your stuff. It's fascinating. Can you ever read yourself? No, thank gosh. <laughs> well, I, mean, I hear that things, so many times. You, you know, seconds. anything I'm emotionally attached to, um, I have a hard time being able, you know, even when I've done some of these crazy predictions of stuff that I've been asked to look at, I'm still attached to getting it right, right? So I'm blown right. away if I get it right or when I get it right. So um, sure, I would love to be able to, right? but, you know, I'm, I'm here like everyone else trying to That's master life and death. <laughs> so do you seek out a, a psychic that you trust when you need answers or want um, clarification? Well, at this point in my life, it's really more, um, I'm forever involved in healing, alternative healing, okay. and, um, and I um, have my own practice of which I do that helps me spiritually. So... Um, you know, I really haven't found other psychics that work the way that I work, you know, wow. or, um, you know, everything is, is kind of like about where you are consciously. And so, um, so not, I really haven't, um, you know, I, I love this stuff as much as anybody yeah, else does. <laughs> that stinks. So you have nobody that you can go to. Oh, well, it's, I mean, look, at, this you, point, I wish. at this point, it's, it's really about like getting your own answers, but, but no, I mean, all of that, um, it definitely, if you can find someone who can bring through spiritual information that can help you, you know, not only to prove that this is real, but to help you in your own unfoldment. Absolutely. So, yeah. So Ashley and I both grew up Catholic, and okay. I have a lot of Catholic friends who, when they hear I'm into this stuff, or I mean, of course, like the past lives are like, what? Hex. Yeah. Um, but they have a hard time with it. So how do you recommend to people that, like, they can still be, like, you know, Christian or whatever religion they are and right. couple this with that religion? Well, I mean, I would never want to change anyone's beliefs. I think right. everyone's entitled to have their own beliefs about whatever they want. Um, I, I think isn't most of, you know, wasn't the Bible like brought through information in the Bible brought through, through um, prophecy. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, you know, I, I mean, to each their own. And to me, why would I even have this gift? Like, I just look at the history of how many years that I've helped people to positively change their life and break patterns and get on their spiritual path. Like, mm -hmm. how is that not a gift from God, right? Absolutely. So Absolutely, I think yeah. that people have a lot of fear around this, or they've just been brainwashed by what, you know, most religion on this planet is... Um, been changed by man's consciousness, right? So mm -hmm. that you couldn't truly be connected to your own power. Right. That's what I believe. So, well, I mean, that's fact because yeah. governments have literally come in and changed the Bible to help them control the people more. Right. So they took out reincarnation from what I've read um, back in Spain because <clears> they thought if people really believed that they could live all these lives and they would just run the streets and run amok. And, and so they had to take that out so that people would be more controlled. Well, and if you so, were going to become your own God self, why would you need them? Right. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Exactly. Wow. Um, so in terms of developing your your intuitions, if, if you choose to do so, um, there are so many different ways that are out there. Would you right. say that it's meditating, it's using crystals, it's what's what is your path and what advice could you give? Well, I mean, this is not the easiest question because there just is no rules, right? Okay. There are people that, say, get in a car accident and all of a sudden their third eye opens up or oh. there are, um, you know, like I've said, the one thing that I can say is just you want to have this grounded and rooted in spiritual truths and teachings. And so perhaps the best way for someone is to... Um, start to discover books that they, you know, are interested in reading or 
you know, there's just no rules of how to go about it, but you want to um, stay away from the kind of um, game aspect of it, you know, or using something like a Ouija board because um, there are definitely spirits that just want your attention. And so you can be getting something like someone's uncle's name that is passed over, but it doesn't mean that's connected into the absolute highest and best. So, but you know, We'll, um, if you're in the LA area, um, we'll talk after about yeah. a place that I recommend that, that you sure. might really love checking out. Sure. And, you know, and if someone is in the LA area um, or wherever they're listening and they're genuinely, truly um, interested in developing their ability and, and, and connecting into that highest and best, I suggest you email me and we'll talk okay. after. Okay, perfect, yeah. absolutely. Um, I had a situation once where a year ago, I was, um, I had a cold, a, a cough, and I was given codeine. Um, and so I took the codeine, I went to bed, and the next morning I woke up, um, my boyfriend's mother was staying over, and I went up to her, and really long story short, I said to her, um, when I woke up, I said, why were you talking about mm-hmm. a so-and-so situation? You were really loud, and I couldn't sleep all night. And she said, I haven't been here all day, I don't know what you're talking about, I but I, I said, well, you said this, this, and this, and you came in and you asked me for keys and you were lost. And she goes, I don't know what you're talking about. She goes, but I do know that this conversation that you're saying I had with my friend happened last week, the exact conversation um, to a T. I, I mean, no one would know that. Um, and I go, I, I kept thinking she was tricking me because we're, we don't get along. So I thought maybe she was just messing with me. Right. So I was like, well, well, I don't understand. Like, I'm telling you, like, I heard this and she was like no but I think that you are maybe psychic because I don't know how you knew that um and she's and she ended up getting lost later in the day and I said she was getting lost anyway it was the most specific thing that had ever happened I have a lot of intuitions where I'm right. all I'm right about the majority of people because I feel something but this was a specific situation that I right read so I anyway I, I know that codeine probably had something to do with it <laughs> well, uh I don't do drugs so this was like the, the drug right. of, that I had but it wasn't for that it was sick Did you ever hear of things happening like that? Well, just think about it. So, okay, thought forms are very real, right? And so we live on this planet where we've got everyone that's already so overcrowded and everyone, um, what's happening is your energy got raised to kind of get out of the muck of everything that is so dense around us every day. And so um, you were able, you know, and so this happened in your sleep, right? Yes. So there's things that can happen where we astral travel in our dreams. Did you say astro? Astral travel, where we actually, you know, every night when we're dreaming, we're astral traveling, but the goal is to actually remember it, right? So you could have been having an experience like that. But I just think what happened is your, your energy was able to get raised up out of like the stuff that we're in every day you know so there's no doubt that you're intuitive I mean a you're into all this stuff and exploring this world and um so there's no question that that's something that's naturally going to happen to you so I so I read more about it that people sometimes when they're drinking or they they don't call alcohol spirits by accident right (laughs) Right. so So, but we want to be very we want to be very careful of course because yeah yeah. you're kind of open yourself up to anything coming on by and taking advantage of you so so, um, so we do need to protect ourselves. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah, I, I once took an energy class at um, HMI, okay. like an energy healing class, and the lady said I never, the teacher said she never drinks more than two glasses of wine because otherwise she feels it invites spirits in and they could take control of her and she doesn't know what's going to happen. Well, so that's a thing. one glass of wine can, I wow. mean, you don't, even what you want to be really careful where you put your body as well, right? Because there's a huge difference going into, say, some divey dark bar versus, you know, having drinks at a really nice fancy place. Um, it, it, and some people don't even have to have a drink where they're vulnerable to having mm-hmm. energies like that affect them. So that's that part where we're talking about that it's not a game and that you do want to be protected. Wow. Um, in terms of your, um, your path now, where do you see, like, do you feel like you found your, your purpose and is this, is this something you're going to continue to do because it's fulfilling for you or do you feel like there's more even for you in terms of, oh my gosh, yes, our growing never ever stops, right? So, um, I'm just doing everything I can in order to, um, continue to, 
help other people, which is what's, what makes me the happiest. And then um, also to heal myself so that, right, if that goal is to break the cycle of coming back over and over again, that's what I'm working on. So, so you rather, you want this, you want this to be the last one. Well, I, I mean, look, look at our world, sadly, and yeah. where it's going, right? right. So, um, and again, we, you know, from what I've seen, we, when we pass, we just lose our physical body. We're, we're mm -hmm. still very much alive. And I know that's like big, deep stuff, but that's that thing where there's just so much more than what, you know, it's like, what are we doing here? So, um, so for me, I'm just gonna, of course, this is all I know in my life now. So, um, you know, it's just about how to help as many people while I'm here and, and then continue to help myself. <laughs> I love great. it. Best you, way to help other people. Do you have mm. any questions before we? Well, one thing that my mom always expresses about psychic readings, because she knows that I've like, I've never done a psychic reading, but I've done me readings with um, psychic mediums. Okay. Well, so it's kind of, it's, it's kind of similar. It's the same. Thing. And she always <laughs> says like, I just worry because if you do it, then what if they say something and then you make it happen because they said it right. versus it was really supposed to happen? This is a great Does question. Does it happen? Well, here's the thing. I, I mean, first of all, people, um, destiny is not set in stone. We should know that, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, And really? when you get, it's not, my gosh, how? you know with destiny is not set in stone you have opportunity but it's really what we do with that i mean now most people are just playing out patterns right mm -hmm. but um in that it's that absolutely if people are um it's just how strong you are in your own you know resolve your own life and people definitely can be programmed that's why a lot of times people just you know again when they want me to just tell them what to do or what's going to happen it doesn't always work that way and when you get a reading it's really just information mm -hmm. that you take into your own life and that you can choose what you want to do with it. You know, you can hear information that you don't like and then you use that as inspiration to change what's going on. Do you ever answer questions that you see a negative answer to? Well, um, I never hold back, but really when I give a reading, it's really all about inspiring and healing and comforting people. So I don't look at people and just see all this negative stuff. I mean, unless they're like robbing banks and, right. you know, and those people are usually not coming to get readings, but a lot of times people will ask a question and some part of them knows the answer and they're looking for validation. It's really how you communicate to people. So, um, you know, a lot of times, unfortunately, it's describing situations that it's not what people want to hear, but doing it in in a way that they can hear it so they can best use the information to help them get the change and the healing they're looking for in their life. Do you use astrology at all? I'm not an astrologer. Okay. So uh, do you that's follow different. It no, I know. I, I mean, but... I know my sign and yeah, sign, yeah. you know. Um, I, it, it's really different. Astrology is different. Right. Yeah. No, because I, I know that your north node and your south node indicate your what you're supposed to do in this lifetime and what you did in past lives that you shouldn't continue in this lifetime. And, and it's kind of similar to what you're saying in the mm. sense that you you have this karmic, um, these lessons that you need to, to, to learn and that you keep coming back for. So kind of similar, I mean, different paths to get to those answers, but um, I didn't know if that was something you used yeah, at all. Yeah, I'm not a big astrologer. Not that I, what about I'm palms? All, I'm all about whatever works to help people. Right. Um, also, you know, I, I just really have studied more of like the spiritual aspect wow. and the psychic part of it. So um, again, whatever helps you is great. Um, but I'm not an expert in palms or astrology. Do you believe that we all have spirit guides? Yeah, I do. It's just really how close they can get to you and work with you. So again, that's like how real you make that relationship is how real it becomes. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so did you want to... Um start into the did you have sure. anything else you wanted to share i mean we not like we're still talking afterwards yeah before. no what, I'm, I'm okay well, good. well okay cool um so you um were gracious enough to have uh, allow us to ask a question because people really <clears throat> find that interesting so um yeah do you want to go first lauren yeah so okay. uh, this is something i thought about while you're talking i had set questions but then i've been wondering this well, and i can answer more than one for <laughs> oh, you okay cool. oh, okay <laughs> so in that case <laughs> when i was little i would say probably under five I would hear someone calling my name in my house. Okay. And I, I thought it was my mom. So I'd go up to my mom and say, Mom, what do you want? Like, I heard you calling me. And she's like, I wasn't calling you. And it happened for a long time up until, like, middle school, and then it stopped. Yeah. So I've always wondered, was I just crazy or what that was right. and what it meant? Well, 
Uh, and if it was good or bad. Okay, so, well, as kids, we're very psychic, right? But it just gets programmed out of us because mm -hmm. no one's telling you, oh, it's okay to be psychic and here's what you do with it. It's like, oh, you know, usually when that happens, it freaks people out and they try to tell us, that, oh, you didn't hear that, it, you know, so right. it gets programmed out of you. Um, I get that it was very real. I mean, I think that it was... So was your mom's mom passed over at that point? Not at that point, no. It seems like it was a female on your mom's side. Okay. So um, so to me, it seems like it was very real, but it seems that it was on your mom's side of the family. Okay. And yeah. Do you have any like indication as to what they wanted or why well, they're calling it? Um, sometimes, again, they just want attention, right? Okay. So... Um, it, there's different stories. I mean, look, there. Sometimes people pass; they don't know they've passed. This is why homes are haunted, or cemeteries are haunted. People get stuck around their body, like if they have an accident. So I actually get like a really positive energy around that because you can have a connection with someone in your family line that's passed over before you were even born, but you knew them before in the past. So I just get this very female loving energy that was just wanting a connection with you and that it's on your mom's side of the family. Okay. Wow. Very cool. Because it doesn't feel like it was scary. Like you, it would have no. felt scary to you. It seemed like it doesn't It was have like that. neutral, I would say. It was just like someone's calling my name. I want to know what they want. And I yeah. thought it was my mom. Yeah. It's more of um, just a, can, I mean, it was really looks like it was, you know, like you would have a um, family member that would play with you. I mean, that's kind of what the energy was wow. here. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Can you think of anybody? The only person that came to mind when you said on my mom's side was her grandmother who died when she was like two months old, Grandma Josephine. Yeah. And so, so and that's why I was asking if it yeah. was her. Um, wow. And she was know, named mother, after her. My mom's yeah. name is Joanne. Her name was Josephine. Mm -hmm. So it could have been that. I was named after Josephine. You were? were? <laughs> no way. But you got yeah. a, but you got more of a modern Justine. Well, you know. You got it, like the new yeah. version you do of the it. the initial yeah, yeah. of a dead right. relative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Interesting. Um, I like how you put two S's in your name. Just oh. right now. Makes it kind of unique, you know? Thanks. Yeah. Um, okay. I like it. You were doing the extra S on this. <laughs> Just no, I mean, it, it, for some reason, um, I mean, I, I did change my name. And, um, you know, for some reason, people would call me Justin. And I'm like, oh, really? God. So, yeah. so weird. So That's I worked funny. with someone to change it. Yeah. Yes. Like, who would think your name's Justin? Okay. It's wild. Wild, wild. All right. Um, so I am, I've had... You should ask a different psychic question as well. Okay. Yeah. That's more of like a how-to versus a... Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll bounce, how we'll about bounce. bounce back? Okay. Bounce. So, um, I've been with my boyfriend for a very long time. What's his initial? R.G. Okay. And we've, uh... So we've... don't tell me the story. Okay, well, What do you sorry. want to know about <laughs> you know, I'm like, let me tell you everything. <laughs> tell just me nothing. Just people don't realize, like, yeah. psychic information doesn't come from the logical point of hearing the story and then answering. So a lot of times people, like, go into the whole story and it actually just, like, spins for me it's like yeah, just, sorry okay. what's the question don't okay. say you're sorry sure sure is he the one for me am i going to get married to him okay. okay well remember what we said there isn't a one yeah right? okay relationships so. just so and i'm happy to answer yes or no questions but i believe that there's so much more than just yes or no right so like maybe you have a question about him that you want to ask that i can answer that can help you decide yes or no because okay. first of all it doesn't seem to me like the answer to this is here just yet interesting what's your age right now I'm in my late 20s. So, because <laughs> I'm at the age where you don't want to say it I anymore. I mean, I get 32 for you is really the point of where you're taking that next step. Really? So, yeah, that's more when you're going to be in a more realistic place to, you know, look at getting married, getting engaged. Interesting. So, um, and I'm not saying it's with him or not, but, you know, what's something that you want to know about him that, sure. that again, it just isn't this yes or no kind of thing? Okay. Um, is he. Is he in a place right now where he's able to know? Is he in a place right now where he's able to know what he wants? Okay. For himself. Well, or uh, does he know what he wants for himself? Because um, I can't understand him. Just, lot. just so you know, like I go to look at him and how someone comes in in the reading says a lot about where they are in the relationship, and um, so. He doesn't really want me looking at him. That doesn't mean I can't answer questions, but he's a bit private. And I don't think that he's as open and into this kind of thing as you are. I think that, that you're very, very open to it. And he's kind of like, 
even if he knows it exists, he's kind of like just, um, he's more logical. There's a very logical side to him. Um, so I think that, you know, he just sees himself as like a work in progress and that he's not where he wants to be at. So he is very much still working on it. And he's doing, um, poor thing, if he doesn't, you know, so whenever somebody, like, poor thing is getting a reading whether he wants or not. <laughs> so um, I just see him like really working on like, it's kind of like bamboo. He's working on really grounding himself and being grounded in the physical world so that it can all sprout up and like have the life he wants to have for himself. So um, I do see where he is sure of himself. So it's not someone who's unsure of himself. He just, he doesn't see himself he still sees himself growing versus like, oh, I'm at this place where the rest of my life is going to happen. He still feels like he's in the midst of getting to where he's going. So it seems like you have a very karmic connection. There is an incredible affinity symbol between you guys here. So you have known each other before. And it's not that this isn't based in love. This definitely is like a heart chakra connection. I just see him like really working on you know there's even some anxiety here about him trying to get to where he's going and he just there's certain things he can't deal with right now so he just kind of puts behind him but you know he's wow. compartmentalized it so you're dead um, accurate by the way so like, it's crazy it, it, mm -hmm. you know he's not ruled out we're gonna end up together but he's not in this place where he's like oh my god i have to make this decision today yeah so that's insane that you just knew that um all right back to you lauren <laughs> wow <laughs> reporting live <laughs> um okay I, I want to ask questions about relationships too. Is it okay to be somewhat vague or like? Well, I have an are overall you question. Asking about a person, or so there's a difference between asking a psychic question yeah. or asking like a how-to question. So okay. just ask, and I'll okay. kind of direct you toward. Well, I feel very. Oh, you don't want to know what I'm feeling, right? I'm yeah, because your feelings don't have anything okay. to do with it. Are, are you asking a question silly. about a person? Or? Yeah, I think I want to, but I don't know how to phrase it okay, correctly. Okay, so what's the person's initials? NT. Okay, so what do you want to know about this person? Um, I'm trying to make it not be a yes or no question, because again, that's just so flat. I want to know why I still feel drawn to this person, yet at the same time, I really feel repelled by them. And I like can't let it go, but I can't say yes to it. Okay. So um, I'm just kind of looking behind that because I do sure. think they're, you know, you've had about seven past lives with this person. Wow. So, you know, there's a oh lot of karma God. here and it goes way back. Um, you know, there's energy here. Um, it, it just goes way back. So mm -hmm. that's that part of um, that having some great past lives and some not so great past mm -hmm. lives. And you know, I see you really in your mind trying to figure this all out when mm -hmm. it's not in your mind, right? You've kind of exhausted yourself to the level of going <laughs> round and round trying to figure out what it is here. So, um, you know, right now when I look at the two of you, it, it, it's like your backs are turned toward each other versus like being in something where you're working on having a working relationship going mm -hmm. toward the future. And so it's just, you know, it seems like you've been very close, that you really know each other, but there's kind of a standstill energy here mm -hmm. right now. And so um, I, I don't think you're going to work this out with your mind because it is energetic here, your connection with this person. So your guys are just saying here time, like this just needs some time. And, and um, when you can separate kind of what you're mentally trying to figure out with what your feelings are for this person, I see you just having a place in which you put it within you to have peace with it versus like again getting caught up in that trying to figure it out and trying to figure it out so um so it just seems like it's time is this person actually i mean they seem like they're in like a different city so are where are they right now it's just seem... they're they're here we were recently separated for a minute okay. by cities okay yeah there's just some energy yeah. around that so um it, it when i tune into it i just don't feel this like anxiousness or you know it just feels like it is what it is right now mm -hmm. so but you might want to ask another question from that oh well how can i get to a place where i do feel that peace like well, I mean, they were saying time, you know, so. I think it's just going to be your own. I'm not in any way insulting you here, but like your yeah. own maturity as you um, have some time here. It's just your own life experience is going to make you have like a different 
perspective on it Mm because you're not going to get the answer out of like what he's doing or what you know this means it's more just like as you discover more about yourself you're going to go oh and it's going to shift it's like you would be a great candidate for doing the heal your relationship space healing which i'm happy to send you because there's other energies here that are affecting how you see life and your life and yourself right now and so as you clear some of that or heal some of that then that will allow you to be in this place of, again, not having to figure it out and allow it to just be. Okay. Um, There is this kind of, you know, as you were showing me your backs toward each other, and it's, there is this kind of team energy here Mm -hmm. after this shift that I'm talking about. So um, it's really interesting because your backs can still stay toward each other, but it's more like you're leaning into each other being this energy of like a team. Hmm. I like that. Hmm. Interesting. I hope that makes sense. It does. It <laughs> really does. Very it's like so hard when you're describing something going, oh my gosh, I hope this makes sense to that person. Yeah. I mean, I made sense to me. It's not even my life. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, is there, so I'm, is there anything in my life right now that I should, that are roadblocks that I should not be doing or I should change or relationships I should stop being in or right. anything that's keeping me from my life purpose well i mean that's a great question but it's like is it a too big okay great okay okay <laughs> i mean it's okay. kind of like what's the meaning of life okay so right, right, right. if there's a certain situation that you are questioning yeah you know or a certain person that you're questioning okay. you can ask about that but but really um you know otherwise it's just like what's wrong with me tell sure, me like, sure kind sure of thing, right okay um all right i'm basically i, I want to know if i'm 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 trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be in my life like everybody else and I okay. I feel what are you deciding extra. between I mean hosting or you know maybe something in maybe something behind the scenes more producing um I'm just feeling like every year goes by and I'm not I'm not financially independent and I'm not right. doing what I need to be doing so I just didn't know if there was anything you see or anything that well, you could uh, just like relationships success and prosperity is also patterns of attraction, right? And as we work on that relationship with ourself and healing, that's when it starts to change. So um, so when I look at you, it's not really about what's outside of you. It's about what's going on inside of you. And, um, and so, you know, I'm just looking at the direction of where you were talking about, about hosting or producing. Um, You know, I I just see right now, again, this energy is like building up stronger and stronger and making it so hard for you to find that answer because you're putting so much pressure on yourself. So when I look at your guides and teachers, they're just so wanting for you to like be in the moment and be in what you're doing um, so that you can figure it out with all this pressure, without all the pressure on you. And um, again, I'm not an astrologer, but there's this very Virgo energy with you. So I don't know if like you have a rising or something going on. They're just showing me this, this Virgo energy. No. So, um, and you know, again, I'm not even, um, a, what, you'd have to look at your chart to yeah, see where that yeah. is. But, um, so it, it just seems like right now it's really kind of about giving yourself a break and being in, in what you're doing so that you can see where this is going. Cause it seems to me like there's, you know, it's, like you're hard on yourself and then all this overwhelming energy comes in and it just kind of cancels out this ability to um, be your own best cheerleader here, really, you know, like a lot of people, you're very hard on yourself. So I don't believe that you do know yet exactly what it is. You know, again, I'm looking at 32 as really being this important time for you where a lot comes together. Really, And, um, you know, I do see this producing energy right now as what is really standing out and that, um, would be fine to focus on, but but really, you're just in how we get a lot more out of being loving with ourselves than being hard on ourselves, and you just have this ability to be very hard, and it's it's just kind of closing the all, all the opportunities with how strict you're being on yourself. Your guides wow. want you to not be so strict on yourself. Well, that's unbel- so. Do you mean 32? Do you see financial independence as well, or you just see? Uh, well, I'm not seeing really... that. It, look again. This is all about inspiring you and healing you. They're not going to be like they don't no get specifics. You know, okay. it, well, it's not that it's not about specifics. They're just not going to say nope. It's not going to happen for you. Got you it. know, again, okay. they're wanting for you what you want for yourself. So again, I do see um, the producer angle. I mean, I see you producing other people. So, wow, um, not just yourself, so but producing other people. And that's where the focus should be right now. And that you would, you know, you'd be 
it's kind of like you being a manager even, oh but I don't God. think that it is like that. So that, She's dead accurate right now. Yeah. If I, I, things I can't talk about, but oh my God. That seems to be like where the focus should be. And I mean, I see like, you know, there's like eight different opportunities here for you to kind of um, produce, manage other people in properties. Oh my God. That How would you, you would <laughs> never know that because no one knows that. That's amazing. Okay, okay wow. cool. Yeah. Really okay. dead I'm on. excited for you. That's really, I get this thing I call the God chill when someone's so, you know, doing, again, I don't believe in supposed to, but when somebody's really like in line and, and, um, you know, you're a healer and that's how your healing energy comes through is, is, um, helping other people with that. You are so accurate. I Aww. can't believe that you knew that no one in the world knows that. And you just Aww. said that that's crazy. Okay. Lauren, you're next. <laughs> okay. Well, I was wow. wondering when you think a good time to release my album would be okay i'm see to me that's like such an astrology thing it the is. whole timing okay. thing um now like you yeah. know there's like now um and also for you i see already kind of spoken thing that you do because there's not only singing there's well i mean i guess this is speaking right but um but there just is um you're you're very powerful at being able to um bring stillness to a moment and kind of stopping time and um things i mean really there's this word alchemy do you know what that word means which it's it's being oh, yeah. able to create change like the alchemist the book. Yeah. yeah so they're showing me that you actually have this ability to do that through your voice and and that you can help people to get like really in the moment so that's part of what you're doing through your voice wow wow so you know now it seems like awesome yeah. oh my gosh that's so cool yeah i mean i think that's yeah i'm i just have to ask you one more thing about sure. so, I, I my mother's mother do you see anything with her so i give me her name her, her name initials. is mary um it was m l okay so this is someone She's who's passed, passed over yeah and how did she pass by the way um it was a heart something with her heart she was 39 okay i never met her so i, I see her very... here and and she is um look people think you know we still very much have our emotions and when i see her she's still grieving that mm. she like feels that her life was cut short and and um You've known her for a very Sorry, long time. Mary Anzalone. Her maiden name was... was I, that's a, okay, that's yeah. fine. I see her. Um, <laughs> it, it seems that that you've known each other for a very long time. So even if you didn't know her in the physical, that you have a spiritual connection to her. And um, she really wants healing. That's part of why she... Um, so we're going to send her some here so that um, she can connect with her guides and teachers and really move into a more... Um, peaceful space so that she can um you know she's it's kind of like time and space disappear so it's not about being upset how long someone's been gone or you know i just see her still very much grieving that she's not in the physical wow mm -hmm. yeah that's sad okay and that's not fun for me to yeah. look at stuff like that yeah. you know so but i mean again like we have these experiences that are cut short people get very caught up in in yeah and stuff like that's that. very interesting yeah because yeah. i feel very connected to her so i was wondering if that was it looks like it goes as far back as Egypt with her and me together yeah. mm -hmm. you're kidding me no. yeah I feel people say all the time my family says you do the exact same things as her and I yeah it's so it's interesting okay um, all right and now so uh, cool. did you have anything else because we're gonna no I, I think we've been answered but I think that I'm going to check out uh, the it's let's see it's the relationship heal, space. heal your relationship I'm gonna space. heal my relationship <laughs> space. I'm gonna do that when I get I'm, home. I'm gonna give it to both of you for free oh my and gosh thank you, you can go to psychicgirl.com or go to heal your relationship and wow. it's just 15 minutes you can download it and really just even doing it once a day for like a week will absolutely change your life it's kind of like the cheat sheet to how to let go of all this energy that you've been holding on to and every past relationship that you've had and um you know but it affects other areas of your life too because it's just kind of cleaning you out so Jeez, that's, that's yeah. incredible that sounds amazing and if people want I need a, a reading cleansing. with you a one-on-one yeah. reading with you how can they do that um if you're in los angeles come see me in person or i also do skype anywhere else oh, in the world wow so just go to psychicgirl.com and send me an email and 
um, happy That's to go from there. Awesome. And oh, a yeah. little tease, there's some very exciting things on the way. Mm -hmm. So we're going to stay tuned with you, Absolutely. be checking your website diligently. And when Aww. those things come out, we'll have you back on. Yeah, okay. that'll be real. Well, thanks so much exciting. for having me. This Thank was really fun. Thank you so much. Of Thank you for um, being here. So um, you can find me uh, at Ashley Daniels on Twitter and Miss Ashley Daniels on Instagram. Where can we find you, Lauren? I'm at Lauren LaGrasso everywhere. Let's be friends. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you again, Justine. You thanks are for having so, me. so yeah. awesome. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz. See you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.